Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and today I'm talking about the Razer Black Shark V2X headphones. Now these are really, really cool, and I've tried these a little bit, I'm sort of trying to decide what's the best headphones for me at a certain level, okay, a certain class. Uh, first, I'd say a few things. Number one, this video is not sponsored by Razer or anybody else. Number two, these are my own true honest opinions. And number three, I bought this with my own money. Now, you can see what they look like here. Well, first of all, let's look at what's in the box. It's a nice box. Looks like Razer. It's got the green, everything like that. Um, you just open this up here, and then this comes out, right? So here, we've got the headphones right here, okay? And we'll talk about this here in a second. Just the three 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, right here, you would plug these right into like a PS4, PS5, Xbox, that kind of thing, um, or just some kind of outlet. Now, if you want to use the microphone as well, in a situation with like a PC or something, then you'd plug this together, and then you'd have, um, this would be for your microphone, and this would be for your headphones, I believe. You know, well, one's for one, one's for the other one. And then you also have a little bag here. I'm assuming this is a carrying bag for your, for your headphones. Uh, and then you have some instructions. Uh, including a little thing that can get you the 7.1 surround sound activation code uh, for the PC. That's effective on the PC, but that's not going to work uh, for like your PS4, a PS5, Xbox, things like that. So that's what it looks like right there. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, you can see how long the cord is here. Let me try these on. I might have to take my glasses off here for a second. Well, let me just do that. Okay, and then this can fold right down right here. You also have a volume knob here that is a good feel to it. It will also kind of let you know, like you have, it'll stop kind of at that midway point. I think that's kind of handy. Now this does not detach the microphone and the cord does not detach in the Black Shark V2X. Now in terms of the cord length right here by itself, looks about four feet or so, something like that. So it's got a good length, not super duper long, um, but definitely not too super short either. So I think it's, that's a fair length here. And if you're doing with the PC and stuff, you can, that, you know, uh, where you would plug in both of these, then you have extra length as well right there. In terms of looks, let me show you what this looks like up close here. So you can see that. And in terms of the cord. Now here's the thing I have to say about a couple things right now. Sound isolation is pretty good. In terms of, of, of build quality, you can see this faux leather right here. Just handling them, two, two points to that I think people, you will adjust it right here. And I think some people are maybe concerned or could be concerned. I was something a little bit concerned about, well, you know, what about the flexibility of the build quality here? Um, that's something, right, you know, people might think about. Or here with the faux leather. I can just tell you by touching it and everything, like I love the Razer Procs. I've, I have a, a number of Razer Procs. I really like them a lot. This I think is good, and I think the sound is good. Sometimes it sounds just, just a little bit tinny. I think this is really good. The microphone quality and the sound quality was, was really good. I have um, uh, a sample of that. This here is where I'm a little more concerned. I can just see where maybe this could be flaking after um, some time. Um, not so sure about this, but I think, look, overall in the class that it's in, I think it's quite good. Let's do this, let's test the sound out, and I'll show you a sample of the microphone quality, and then we'll wrap up the review. Okay, now we're gonna try, I plugged it into the computer right here. Okay, now I wanna try some different uh, I want to hear the audio here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this at midway and then we're going to try some different things and just see what it sounds like. Wow, very loud. It sounds good. It sounds very, I mean, definitely you've got a lot of volume there. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's definitely good. You, I, there's maybe, obviously compared to normal speakers and stuff like that, 
a little bit of lack of depth in it, but I mean, I do like it. I also am going to uh, try the, um, now in fairness, you know, I'm not giving it the full, full test because I haven't done the 7.1 here, so I guess that's not maybe totally fair, um, but just in terms, I want something that can just plug in, that's part of it. I want something that can just plug in and I don't have to worry about that, I don't have to sign up for other stuff. So, but I do wanna be straight up about that, that I do not have the 7.1 on that. So what I wanna do too is, I wanna just try uh, a couple other things here. The song's good, pretty good. Okay, that's pretty legit. Listen, I think that, that there's good positional stuff with the, with these ones. I do like it. I think these are very solid. Um, there's a lot to like here. There's no doubt about it. I think Razor did a good job. It, the bass is good. The position is good. It definitely has a, a pretty um, full style. Not full blast, full. I mean, there's only so much you're going to get out of headphones, certainly at this class level. But I am very happy with these. I think they're quite good. I think they're very easy to use. Um, the one thing is, I mean, I don't... Love this, I know why they have it, I get it, I fully get it. Um, I, maybe having a USB connection could have been better. I mean, there's pros and cons both ways, right? I mean, uh, but I do think that it's good. It's nice to have both though, you know, obviously this, it, it works right here, here, and then you can, you can plug it in there. The look is good, the sound is good. Here we're gonna play you a recording from the Razer Black Shark V2X microphone. Let's do that right now, and I'll try to put this a little bit closer to the speaker. Test, testing one, two, three. John D. Valero right here for News Talk, 1040 AM here on Tampa Bay, and we're just having a good time. We're just trying to test things out, test this microphone to see exactly how much we do like it. It seems pretty good at this time, and uh, we look forward to taking your calls and talking about all the differences between these two headphones and microphones. So very interesting. I think that's really nice. It's got a good full sound. It definitely sounds like you're on like a headset microphone, but it it sounds like a really good version of that, if that makes sense. And I think it has a, a good bass presence there. Um, it's a good microphone. I think I think the microphone is very strong. I think out of a one to 10 for this class of, of headphones, I would probably give it like a nine on the microphone for the Razer Black Shark V2X microphone. Okay, so there you go. I mean, these are great. They're a really nice headset. I think that they sound great. Uh, the microphone is, is excellent. I think the microphone's honestly a little bit better than, than, than the sound. Um, and, and, I, and I like Razer products. I'm just a little bit, you know, cautious or put off a little bit by just, you know, of all this faux leather. I feel like it's just, and then I'm not, I'm just not sure about this design. Um, I do love the volume control is, is great. And the microphone is great. Again, there's a lot to like here. And it, they're really solid. There's nothing There's nothing wrong with these. The question just becomes if they're right for you and if they're the best in the class. That's, I guess, the question that, that, that I would say. And I think that these are an excellent option. There's an excellent option. And they've been very well rated. And the, the Razer Black Shark V2 has been very well rated. This is the Black Shark V2X, a different variation, okay? Um, but I just find like, you know, when the, these came out a few years ago, I think that some of the other competitors are, are kind of, there's other choices as well, but these are an excellent option. I think for me, given everything, I would say that I look at it two ways. In one way, they, I think that they punch above their class. I think that these are phenomenal for the class that they're in. But I would say just when I put it all together, sound, look, microphone, how long I think they're gonna last, how easy it is to use. I do love that I plug these in and they work. I think it's great. And again, I've, I've talked about how great the mic is and the sound, but I just feel like, you know, I, I, I wish that the aesthetic was a little bit different and I'm a little bit worried about the build quality and I just feel like there's a, sometimes a little bit of tinniness to the sound, but um, I would give this overall probably an 8.5. I like them. I think they're solid. I like them. You may like them as well. That's my opinion. I'm saying 8.5. My name's John D. Villarreal. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.